approaching the boxing ring. Is Munabek sight back of Kyrgyzstan? His opponent is Daniel Shakbaksh of Iran. So referee Mr. Jeff Cannell checking the equipment of both boxes. He'll now call them to center ring to give them their final instructions. So we're underway then in the 60 kilogram lightweight division. This action from the third preliminary round, the round of 16 between boxers from Kyrgyzstan and Iran. Both boxers competing in their third bout here of Belgrade 2021 and a nice right hand landed by the Southpaw in blue in this all Southpaw affair. There's the same shot once again is Daniel Shakbaksh, 21 years of age. Comes to the boxing ring as the reigning Asian continental silver medalist from the tournament in Dubai earlier this summer. The boxer wearing red, who is now switched to the orthodox stance. That is Munabek Seitbek. He was a quarter finalist in those same championships. On the continental edition, in the continental edition from Dubai earlier this year. It's his second appearance at the World Championships, having participated in Yekaterinburg two years ago. They've been comfortable, unanimous points decision victories. There's a beautiful left hand and another one from Shachbaksh. That's a good right hand to the body out of the south poor stance. So approaching the midpoint of the opening round and we've seen some wonderful shot selection from the man wearing blue. Those shots from Seitbeck. Caught on the gloves, the left hand to the body may have just got beneath the right elbow of Shachbaksh to render it a scoring blow, but there you see he's hitting gloves and forearms once again. So they can't be scoring shots, but the left hook upstairs did get through as he kept the attack going. Beautiful right hand after that flurry of punches, the final shot of that flurry from Shachbaksh. Rather untidy looking forward for Ray from Seitbeck. So Shakwax looking to quicken his feet now and he stepped back into punching range in a flash and scored with a snaking upwards straight right out of that southpaw stance. He's a fantastic mover and he's demonstrating that quality now, trying to confuse his opponent from Kyrgyzstan. Oh, swinging and missing his sight back. He's almost countered by a right hand as Shakwaksh continues to change angles impressively in front of his man. Very good round of boxing. And for my money, it's the man in blue who will have taken it.
So confirmation of a clean sweep on the cards. Earned by Daniel Shachbaksh of Iran. Some delightful punch picking out of the southpaw stance from Shachbaksh. And then he, he increased his movement deeper into the round and made it very difficult to be, for him to be caught cleanly. So the jersey of Shachbaksh had to be adjusted so that the belt line is visible before we could begin the second round. Shachbaksh continuing to move terrifically in the pocket and around the perimeter of the boxing ring. And he attacks enough when he decides to go walk about like this to ensure that his motion can't be construed as negative or running. Sight Beck spoken to about his roughhouse tactics on the inside. <laughs> Plenty of fainting. Sight Beck currently operating as an orthodox boxer, but still he cannot catch the man cleanly. Terrific movement from a seemingly Tight spot, sees Shakbaksh get himself out of it. Oh, another untidy tangle on the inside. Sightbeck trying to press. Operating as an orthodox boxer rather than switching his feet as he did in the first round. There he lands perhaps his best shot of the entire contest. A right hand catching Shachbaksh. And it's untidy at close quarters once again. Both men spoken to in no uncertain terms by our referee. Well, there have been very few scoring punches during the course of this contest. In the second round, I hasten to add, because Shakbaksh was impressive during the course of the first. His shot selection served him well. But there's been plenty of fainting, plenty of waiting, and then plenty of ball rushes like that. And then plenty of holding once the boxers get to close range on the inside. So two rounds completed, very low, accurate punch output in that second round. I happen to think that the man in blue has edged it, but nowhere near as convincing as he was in the first round. Sightbeck not really able to find the range either. It's a 4-1 split in favor of Shakwaksh. So... Four scorecards of 2018 after two rounds. The judge from Canada has it all square, 19 points apiece with one round to go. So we're going to the third and final round. And after a second round where Shaq Baksh edited it, edged it, not edged it, claimed it, 4-1.
And again, he's taking the matters into his own hands here, both boxers. A look of indignant rage, rage flashing through the eyes of Shakbach. After Seitbeck looked to close the distance on him with his arm raised. Counter south, poor left, landing twice in quick succession for Shakwaksh. <laughs> Punching after the commander, stop his sight back. And both boxers spoken to forcefully by the referee about their constant infringements of the rules. Shakwach took the first round convincingly, but the action since that point, he's edging this portion of the third round as well for my money. Seitbeck simply not able to get any effective eye-catching work away. And he's running out of time in which to find the finishing blow that he needs. Trailing 20 points to 18 for judges. For four of the five judges, snaking upwards right hand not too far away. But again, it's another more fest on the inside. And remember, if a warning is issued, which would result in a point deduction, it could have a significant impact on this contest, particularly if it's assessed against Schachbach. Now you see both men are being spoken to on a regular basis. The referee may feel that he's given them enough opportunity to alter the manner in which they're competing in this bout. But another clinch ensues, which results in the intervention of the ref. He's telling Seitbeck he's got to keep his head up. So the referee giving the boxers every opportunity to amend their approach. But still, he's having to intervene on a regular basis. And with such regular interventions required, as Shakbak scores with a good right jab and another one, well, I wonder whether a warning would be forthcoming if the infractions continue. It looks as though both boxers are going to get away cleanly in that regard. Briefest touch of gloves between Schachbach and Seitbeck. I think Seitbeck knows that it's not going to be his contest. The style's not gelling particularly pleasingly. Plenty of intensity behind the attacks, but neither boxer really finding the range. Schachbach did so effectively in the first round but wasn't able to maintain it through rounds two and three. Low scoring punches, low amount of so scoring punches landed. Let's get the verdict, which will send Shakbach through. So a unanimous point decision victory for Daniel Shakbach of Iran. Claiming all three rounds for three of the five scoring judges. And he goes through to the quarterfinal stage of the lightweight tournament. He'll face off against Lithuania's Edgaras Skardelis in two days' time in the afternoon session. <laughs>